Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Orc Survival Evolved. Look at these majestic beasts behind me. <laughs> so, I do have some bad news before I introduce you to the new members of the Pride. Uh, Panther Lily died, and so did Sassy and Meanie. So, we had a little issue. Um, I Well, I had a little issue. I ended up going way, way deep on the map. I'll show you here. If I bring out the map... You can see that I am all the way up at the top on the north coast, right? So you see how the rivers go down south and they fork out? Somewhere down there, I ended up trying to trank a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> and I died, my pet stayed behind, me and VT took the pterodactyls out to try to find them and we could not find them. So unfortunately, I did lose Panther Lily as well as sassy and meanie but i've since made another sassy uh i don't have another meanie yet because i'm not sure i'm gonna roll with raptors but i'm gonna let her sit here and level for sure um and then well him level for sure and then i still want a female cat but i have two males right now and some of you may notice the names uh you may get the reference salem and Saberhagen <laughs> or Saberhagen, but I say Saberhagen. So these two cats, the names come from Sabrina, the teenage witch. It's an old series or whatever, but I always thought Salem, the black cat in that um, in that series was really, really awesome. And the cats are beautiful. Like, look at Saberhagen. He's like this green and black with a black mane. And then this is dark gray with like a, um, a different shade of gray um, for Salem. So like a black cat, like two black cats, pretty much. So they, they're two different shades, except for the green, naturally. But really, really cool cats. But I still want a female panther lily. I really do. And I would like her to be high level like the last one was. Uh, these two, you can see, are level 9 right now. Um, and their stats are their stats are pretty different. If I look at them, you remember the health on uh, Panther Lily was outrageous. So was the melee damage. We'll see here that their health is 700, and the movement speed is 130, which is still pretty fast. Melee damage is 225. And if I check out um, the other one, you'll see that the health is 800. Um, stamina is 200, movement speed is 130, and melee is about 233. So, kind of in the same boat. I got them, I think, one level apart uh, pretty much at the same time. But we're going to go up again and try to tame a female today. That's my mission. So, um, I did think about taking my mounts, and I don't think I'm going to take my mounts with me. I think it'll be easier if I don't. There is uh, quite a bit of risk to doing it the way that I do it. Uh, but then again, if things go wrong in that area, um, that I won't lose my pets. So I'm okay with losing inventory. It does kind of stink right now. I've got a lot of narcotics on me and things like that. Uh, the metal blueprints, sometimes I pick them up, and we already have tons of these. So I'm not real keen on um, on worrying about those. Uh, but we do have 66 narcotics and 24 trank arrows. Uh, we also have a ton of cooked meat. So we should be relatively good with that. So I was thinking as far as the uh, the hunting goes, there's quite a few things that I'd still like to tame, but we really a little bit ways out from making the saddles. Oh, by the way, oh my gosh, Teal Lone Wolf got high enough level to make Big Bertha a saddle. I totally forgot to show you. Look at the saddle on this thing. You see how it goes all the way up the neck and the saddle's big? Now, this is probably the most ridiculous thing you'll ever see in Ark, okay? Let me get on it. <laughs> Look how tiny I am on the saddle. Oh, my God. Can you imagine the sheer amount of leather to make this saddle? Now, I don't know what the recipe is because I can't do it myself. But just for instance, it takes 300 hide to make a, um, a saber two tigers um, <laughs> saddle. Even if this took twice that much, it's so much bigger. It's so ridiculous. The model is crazy. But I can tell you that it is quite a bit, uh, quite crazy to, uh, to drive her too. So she's slow, all right? I mean, her name's Big Bertha. They don't call it that for nothing. This is the bus, y'all. So. She's got a little twerk action. You'll see she sways the tail slowly. She can sprint a little bit, but you'll see the stamina goes down really, really, really fast. As most do all of the harvesting uh, animals, except for, of course, the mammoth so far. So, her tail arch is just ridiculous. Um, watch this. 
<laughs> the berries that she can get at one time are nuts, man. Like, much, much, much more broad a, a swipe than Kubota. And um, she just gets all kind of stuff. So, really, really cool. Again, too, they've just added an update recently where you can back your dinosaurs up. And I thought that was cool because at first they didn't have it. So, yeah, the, the beep, beep, beeping that you hear right now is not part of the game. It's just something that I added. I thought it was cool. Anyway... I hope you guys dig out Big Bertha, man. She is something else. And she's been getting a lot, a lot of berries uh, for the rest of the herd. So I hope that we put her to good use. I'm sure she will. You'll see if I can show you her stats. Look at her weight, man. 1725. That is ridiculous. And you can see that she just has tons and tons and tons of berries. I took some narcos off of her earlier. But um, now getting down from her is also another story. Let me go ahead and swipe this side. Might as well. Did she go again? And one more. Okay, she's got them all. <laughs> Another thing that's weird is that she can go on the side of the koi pond. Like the little pond that we have back here. Watch this. Right, Big Bertha. Take a right. Oh, we out of stamina already. So she's like a... Uh, she can fish pretty good too. Did I? Yes, Sul Jen. Oh no, not you, Dana. There you go. Check that out. <laughs> she can just kill the fish and the piranhas and stuff way out here. Look, there's another piranha out. Let's see if I can hit him again. Swipe. Swipe. <laughs> Mega piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> I killed them all. Okay, so to get down from her is quite a challenge as well. You need to kind of go down the tail and uh, keep the balancing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and it's still quite a fall. <laughs> so we're going to need to build a ramp for uh, for Bertha sooner or later. Okay, so let me go harvest these Mega Piranhas right quick because we'll need the meat um, when we go taming. And what I'll do, I think, is I'm going to grab some meat along the way. It's not real, real hard to harvest meat along the way, and uh, especially without pets that are consuming it constantly. But as I go, I'm just going to grab a few meat until I get to where we're going. So I'm not going to take you the entire journey, but you know where T.O. Lone Wolf's old base was? Like the place where um, across the river, like where the river meets? In, in fact, I'll show you. Uh, if you see right where I'm at, you see how you can go across the bin and they have like that mountain and stuff where we went mine metal? Around there, in those mountains, that's really, really where... I usually hunt for the saber tooth tigers, but at any rate, guys, I'm going to head out there and I'll meet you up on the hill. All right, you guys, it is about four o'clock in the morning. I've, I've been waiting quite a little while and I'm actually using the gamma setting so that I can see a little bit better at this time, but I want to go up the mountain. I'm way on the north side of the beach, kind of by the mountain, as y'all can see, and I'm hoping that I see one or two saber-tooth tigers together. Anything that I can do to trank one and maybe just kill the other would be better. And, but being singled out would help tremendously because, well, naturally I can I can I can trank them a lot easier. But also I want to get a female and I want a high-level female if I could possibly do it. So this might be a long undertaking, but I'm not shy. I'm okay to work for it. Um, okay, so let's see. This is usually the path that I start on because this already has like a torch and a fire pit ready to go. So it helps me mark. And it's very easy to see from the beach. So if I go down to, let's say right here, you can see that it's like right behind Lone's old place. All right. So most of the time, there are a group of saber tooth tigers back here. Let's see. That looks like a saber tooth tiger over there. That's good. Okay, let's load up the bow. This would be excellent if that would be the only one singled out. But I have to be real, real careful. Because there might be multiples. Okay, that looks like the only one. Oh my. Maybe not. There's one right there as well. Oh, 
Okay, that's a male. Actually, I can just kill it. Instead of wasting my train carriers. Okay. Let's see, does it have any arrows left on it? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, that was a male. And it was a low level, so not something I was completely interested in. Let's see if I can craft a couple more trank arrows. Alright, I like to keep at least 20 on me. Okay, but there's still that other cat over there. Man, that saber tooth kind of like snuck on me. I'm kind of skittish now. Alright, wait. That rock renders in and it kind of hides. Okay, the saber tooth is actually on the left. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared poopless. That's the way it goes. These things are so hard to hunt. Oh, I missed. Alright. Female, level 2. Low level, but still. Alright. Let's see the health on it. Let's make sure I didn't do too much damage. She's only level 2, but I will take her for the mate boost. Um, looks like health is 27 out of 275. It is going to be really hard to keep her. I mean really hard. Because one of the things that you got to notice about here is if a predator attacks her even once, she's pretty much going to be dead. And it will be hard for me to defend her. Especially against the flying mounts. So this pterodon scared me <laughs> after daylights. I don't know if I should keep her or not. I really don't. Um, gosh, what a tough situation. I think, I think I'm gonna let her stay and try to get some prime meat. And if I can come back and she's good, then I'll try to speed tame her with prime meat. So let's go down and see. <laughs> Wow, man. Let's go see if I can grab... Okay, let's see where we at first. What I'll try to do is harvest some prime meat. Now, prime meat has an extremely fast timer on it. So, you really, really, really have to hurry. Uh, in fact, I had some cooked prime meat only that's lasting 30 minutes. But um, that's because I killed a... Um, I actually got attacked by one of those birds. And I got a prime meat from it, but there was no way I could make it last. And I think that helps speed up the taming process too, the cooked stuff, but not nearly like the raw stuff. So what I need to do first is grab some... I guess I should just grab some water and then hunt stegos, because stegos have a, tri a prime meat chance to drop. Okay, so let's get a water skin hooked up. Okay, that's good. It looks like somebody is out there on the beach. Probably Crendor, which is VT Gamer. Okay, and now I could probably change my Gamma. Gamma 2? There we go. Alright, that's a little bit better. So that's the first Stego. Let's see if there's any other Stegos around, just to make sure I know what I'm getting into here. Looks like that's going to be it for Stegos, at least locally. Well, might as well kill this one. Level 7? Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It's a pretty one. Red and black. It's one of the only ones I've ever seen like that, actually. Ah, uh, come on. Ouch. Kinda hurt. Um. Very hard to see here. My health is a little down. Let's use a couple blood bags. Alright. Now I should be able to... There. <laughs> I didn't even have to do that. Roughly. Come on, prime meat, prime meat, prime meat, prime meat. No prime meat. Dang it. Okay, well, that sucked. <laughs> Alright, back to the drawing board. Let's fill up our water skin and look for a little bit more prime meat. Maybe there'll be a stegosaurus somewhere down the beach for us. Alright you guys, so Slipgator just came along and he happened to be with his little pets. He ended up getting a Bronto down and had some prime meat ready to go. So I'm hoping that my cat is still down here. It's only been a couple minutes, um, but hopefully I can find it. Let's see here. Where? Oh, there's more cats right here. That ain't no good. 
Um, yep, they're on me too. And I'm kind of hurting, so that's probably not the best thing. Let's use a couple blood bags. Just to make sure. Ah, okay. Good. It's attacking the bird. I seem to have lost where the kill was. I think it was a little bit deeper on the left side. Where I had the cat down at. Is that it? No, that's a rock. <laughs> okay. Hopefully the bird and the cat will get that sorted out between themselves. And I can move up a little bit further up the hill and see where the cat is. Is that the cat? Yes, that is the cat. Okay. Oh, unconsciousness. Kind of rough. Uh-oh. I knew it was coming. And there's two. I gotta run. I gotta run. I can't stay. I'll die. I'll die. What's bad is our meat is spoiling as we know it. As we see it. Okay. How's the... Are they still following me? Yep, they are. Come on, baby. I gotta get out of here. Keeping up with this. Hopefully we'll go all the way back around and see if they'll leave me. Oh, man. This is bad. Okay. Well. We gotta fight it. Okay. Got it fought. Good. Down. Okay. Another blood bag. <laughs> now, let's go find where it was again. I don't know how much time I have left on this meat. I don't have even time to look. I just gotta go back. Stamina's bad right now. <laughs> it's crucial. It's really, really hard taming with this prime meat like this, but... <laughs> and again, it seems like every time I hit the record button, I get stage fright and I poop myself. It's just how it goes. Okay. Where is the cat? There we go. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Narcotics. Use. Okay. We should be good. Alright, so taming percentage is none right now, right? Let's feed it that prime meat before it... Uh... Oh, did it already... Spoil? Man, it already spoiled. Good lord. Okay, well... <laughs> Not much we could do about that. Uh, we'll go ahead and give it some cooked prime meat and some raw meat and watch the taming meter go up. It does go up quite a bit um, with the with the, um, the cooked prime. Not nearly as much as the raw prime, but we can still hunt for a little bit of raw prime. So that'll be okay. So I'm going to keep this patient done. I'm going to look around a little bit to see if I can get some more raw prime meat. And um, we'll see if we can speed the taming process up and keep this female. Alright, you guys, I just got some raw prime meat from one of those Argivantes, or the, the birds. And I want to show you guys how fast it helps to tame. So, I should just be right up here. <laughs> I've been going to the shore every time I see a bird in a safe location to try to get some. And I finally got some. So, uh, let's see here. How far are we away? Stamina is real. I have a torch lit and a fire lit. So hopefully it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. There's the patient. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, taming is around there. And we'll access its inventory and give it this raw prime meat. I don't know if it's going to consume it right away. But I should be. it should be good as soon as it does eat. So its food is 1192 right now. It should eat the prime meat first. We're just going to wait a little while, and as soon as it consumes it, you'll see that it's just going to jump up huge. What is the timer on it, by the way? Okay, 5 minutes and 35 seconds. Plenty of time to go. So, this is just a waiting game for now. So, it's right on the, the boar is right underneath the U. Let's see here. Food is 1176. I could probably give it some narcotics to reduce its food level faster. And let's see where we're at here. 1169. It's probably going to be like 35 points at least. That's as much narcotics as I want to use on it right now. 
I could use some stems maybe, but I'm not going to do that. Any second now. After the 60, I'm thinking it's at least 40 points. No, it's even more than that. Wow. Maybe it's actually 50. Whew, I don't know, <laughs> but we're going to let it ride for a little while and see. There it is, you guys. Wow, what a jump, huh? From one feeding? Not bad. So this thing is like 40% tamed already, and all we gave it was a few minutes. I think I'm going to hunt a little bit more raw prime meat and see if I can boost it one more time. All right, I see a corno in there, kind of like by the bridge and stuff. Or is that a T-Rex? I got to make sure. Can't get too close, because if that thing is a Rex... No, it's not a Rex. It's too small to be a Rex. Alright. There he is. Should be able to kill him. Uh-oh. Armor's gone. Killed it. Okay. Prime meat. Oh, man. It's always such a rush to kill these things. My health is hurting, too. Ah, no prime. Shoot. Well, guys, it looks like we're gonna get her. After a couple of hunts for some single pieces of prime meat, that first cooked prime meat and naturally quite a few raws it's almost about to tame with a taming effectiveness left of 35.1 percent now what they say is that taming effectiveness determines what its starting stats are whatever i'm not too sure about those mechanics but uh i know that i'm about to get panther lily back so let's see it should be already it should be very very close to eating let's see at 60 here and uh, any minute now, it's just going to swallow that last piece of meat and we'll be good. Let's see here. I should access this, pull all of my meat out, and uh, I'll just put one last uh, piece into here just to make sure I don't get too cold. It's really, really hard taming up here because it's really cold. I could wear a little bit better armor, but again, I'm still very scared. So, yep, saber tooth, got it. P A N T H E R L I L L Y, Panther Lily. Hello, beautiful. You're the same color as the old Panther Lily, too. <laughs> I'm gonna love you and hold you and name you Panther Lily. <laughs> okay, alright. So now let's make sure. Let's check its inventory. Um, I mean, its stats. So 275. It's healing up pretty good right now. Uh, but we have to be real, real careful getting her home, too. So let's go ahead and cycle aggression to passive. Neutral, passive. There we go. So passive is going to make sure that she doesn't just attack anything that attacks us. That way we can run away from danger. And that is going to be the best bet, I believe. So it's really, really cold. So we're going to go through a lot of food. But I've been cooking as I go, so it shouldn't be that bad. Come on, Panther Lily. Let's run a little bit. So coming to the edge, i got to make sure that there's nothing down here. I went. I've I come a little while early and there wasn't anything. Uh, is that a scorpion? Nope. It's not. All right. That happens to be a um, a pterodon, so we should be safe. Let's turn off the torch so we can see a little bit better. And as soon as I know that the coast is clear, I'm going to start heading toward the bridge. Yep, it looks like it's okay. If I can get the moon rays out my eyes. All right, that is... Okay, that's, so that's a stegosaurus over there and a bronto. Now, typically, the T-Rexes will go for the biggest animals, like the ones that provide the most meat. So as long as there's Brontos around, we should be relatively safe from any rogue T-Rex attacks, I'm hoping at least. Um, and let's see, there's a lot of anklos on the beach. Yeah, we should be all right. A bunch of herbivores. Now, I see that Spinosaurus over there. Oh, I need water. Uh, let's see, we should be able to avoid that for the most part as well. As soon as we get to the bridge, we can jolt across it and we should be in the safe zone. Spinosaurus is a little bit up the beach. Okay, it's time to make our run for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <gasps> a corno. Alright, we're still going to continue to run. Our stamina is holding up good right now. She's good, she's good. Let's go. Right through the Brontosaurus arch. <laughs> And it looks like the corno is not chasing us. Oh, we should be good. Okay, so 
The beach is not 100% safe, but most of the time there is nothing that dangerous from this point on. I should be relatively safe. What I'll do, guys, is just in case anything happens, I'll keep the footage running, but I'm going to cut right here until we get back, and we're going to make some sand saddles for Panther Lily and the, the, the other cat that we have. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, I got a bunch of iron and that y'all saw from the last episode. Slipgator just loaned me a bunch of fiber, and I also just put together a little bit of wood, and naturally I had a ton of hide from the last time I had one, so... Um, 550 more. <laughs> oh, 50 more. <laughs> oh, man, he's cooking narco, uh, narcotics up for XP, so... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the saddles on these guys. So Panther Lily is going to have a saber tooth saddle. And Salem is going to have a saber tooth saddle. Uh, oh, that was my raptor saddle. <laughs> and naturally, Sassy is going to have a raptor saddle. And cool. I got quite a bit of XP for that. It looks like they're gaining a little bit of levels as we go too. So awesome. So the pride is in full effect, you guys. Next time we come back, we're going to take them hunting, do some fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.